Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at SC16 in Salt Lake City, and tonight we're at the Dell booth with Garima. Welcome to Salt Lake. Hi, thanks. Well, hey, uh, thanks for having us here. We wanted to learn more about the demo, but first let's start at the beginning. What is your focus at Dell EMC? Yeah. So I'm an engineer in uh, Dell EMC's HPC engineering team, and if you've been hearing a lot about the HPC Innovation Lab, that's where I work. That's our playground and our sandbox. Um, I'm a computer science um, major. Uh, I'm a systems engineer at Dell. Uh, so my focus recently has been on running some cryo EM codes uh, and on the Knights Landing uh, processor and architecture. Uh, and over, I've been at Dell 13 years, so I've done many things over those years. You know, I was out at uh, Austin in September and I got to go to the lab and that was quite impressive, so thank you for that. Um, can you tell us about this particular demo? Uh, what's going on here? Yeah, so let me let me try, right? So yeah. like I said, I'm a systems engineer and what we're seeing um, is a bunch of protein molecules. Uh, so I'm going to try to explain it the way I understand it. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a protein from the protein database. It's called PDB. So it's not something that came out of work in our team or anything on that, that front. It's a well-studied protein molecule. And what we have here, as you can see, um, the shape. So these are multiple proteins that have come together to form this structure. So this protein complex. So we have uh, 11, uh, 11 proteins here that have uh, Something has triggered all these proteins in the body to come together and form this structure. And when you see this sort of protein complex, um, it's normally because there's inflammation. And then when there's this, uh, this complex triggers the immune system response. So my understanding in talking to the folks who understand the science and biology of this yeah. is that it's not fully understood why this protein complex and how this protein complex triggers a response, but when you see this complex, it's normally because there's inflammation. Why is this so uh, computationally intensive that it needs HPC? This is a 3D structure, so a 3D oh. representation yeah. of this protein complex. So there's multiple steps in getting to this 3D structure, which involves, of course, synthesizing the protein, purifying the sample, which is the whole biology piece of it, and then the microscopy piece, which is getting the images of these proteins, and then analyzing these 2D images to then reconstruct the 3D structure. And so the whole uh, portion of uh, the multiple 2D images, uh, making sure those images are aligned and classified, and then reconstructing a 3D structure from those images is what's the very computationally intensive task. Plus there's hundreds and thousands of these images and they all have to be aligned, classified, and then the algorithms for reconstruction. So that's the HPC piece. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, so, so how would this help people if we were able to resolve this problem in, uh, in terms of health? That's right, so what's the whole point, yeah. right? So the whole point of this is uh, understanding the 3D structure of a protein and especially in this particular case, because this triggers your immune system's response, could help researchers understand what kind of drugs need to be developed, how those drugs can work aligned with the, with the immune system, uh, what kind of therapeutic strategies need to be uh, applied, uh, and so on. So basically, in the fields of pharmaceuticals, understanding diseases, cancer, uh, cancer research, drug discovery, and uh, better health.